everyone, welcome to my spring favorites. What I wanted to do today was talk to you a little bit about how I teach my clients to build their wardrobe. I know we can all get, I guess, um, crazy about the trends and want to, you know, grab a bunch of new things. But a lot of times those are the things that we buy and they sit in our closet because we bought them because they were a trend and maybe they weren't the best for our figure or for our coloring or for our lifestyle. So when I teach my clients to build their wardrobe, I do try to have them build that core or their capsule with classics because those are styles that will not go out of style. They will stand the test of time. Then each season you can update with a couple of trends. It could be some accessories. It could be some um, basic outfits like a blouse, like you're seeing here with the off the shoulder. But basically, you want to be careful of the trends because they are just that. They are going to be in style between one and two years at the most. So you want to be careful how you invest your money in your wardrobe. So let's look at a couple of things that I have here. I have, um, believe it or not, browns and um, beiges and rust are actually colors for this spring. They're not always uh, colors that you will see. But I think what, what is on everyone's mind right now is what are we going to be wearing as we go back to work, as we go you know, out more, as we go to more restaurants. And I, I follow a lot of stylists, a lot of bloggers, a lot of people who have been doing what I've been doing even longer. And we're all kind of in agreement that we're going to be seeing a lot more athleisure, a lot more knits, a lot more comfortable bottoms, and just things that are comfortable in general. So as you're buying things, I guess think of you know where you're heading. I know myself, I still am doing about 60% virtual, but I am getting out more and seeing more clients both here and at their homes. So think about your lifestyle. Think about what might change as you go back to work. And you, of course, can always contact me if you need any advice. But what I'm showing here, and by the way, I'm going to be giving you a link to these, are uh, kind of athleisure, but you know this blouse is nice enough, the navy one to be able to wear in a Zoom call if you put a statement necklace with it or a scarf or something like that. A lot of knit dresses, a lot of off the shoulder and cutouts. Um, depending on your age, you know, you may not want a tummy cutout, but there are a lot up top, uh, which can be very interesting. A lot of people are asking about wide leg pants. And in my catalog, I have one that's actually a very flowy material with a center pin tuck seam. What you'll find is that that can help those pants be very slimming. I put a bunch of jeans on here because one of the biggest questions that my clients are asking me are, is our skinny jeans dead? No, they're not. Don't panic. They are, they've become a classic, but I wouldn't say that they're on trend right now. The wide leg and the straight leg are. So I'm going to actually have links to um, my previous catalog and I'm going to show you a couple of those styles in just a second so that you can see how you can make the wide legs work for you if you really really want to but they are the most difficult style to wear if you are short or heavier legged. Here's a great example of a straight leg. It's not quite a, a wide leg but uh, the straight leg is probably the most versatile pant. It's, it looks great on everyone, so I would totally recommend the straight leg if you're not sure about the wide leg and you want to kind of be a little bit more on trend. These look great with sandals, as you see here, as well as with uh, a booty for those chillier days still that we have in spring. Now this is a wide leg. And there are pockets here, so if you have any kind of tummy or um, you have a wider hip, they wouldn't be the best. What I can say is if you are going to do a wide leg pant and it's more dress than you, such as the one I showed you in my catalog, you want it to be a more flowy material. You want the drape of it to show your legs when you walk. When choosing a denim, 
If you have long legs, so your short-waisted, long-legged body, uh, this is a really great style because it's high-waisted and they're full length. The trouble comes in when we choose a cropped wide leg style if you are not long legged in terms of your proportion. They can make your legs look shorter and squattier. So if you're someone like myself who already has legs, um, I call them dancers legs, but <laughs> not, I'm not a dancer, but you know, they're thicker, they're, I don't have slim legs, then you really, really want to watch these. I've um, tried on several of them and I'll be sticking with, when it comes to denim, the straight leg, not the wide leg. It is just not a flattering look on me. And again, if you are slimmer or a V-shape, great style for you. And again, this is more trendy. So, you know, think of that when you are choosing how much you're going to spend on a trend item. Here are a couple more of the trends if you are looking to update and you want to just add a couple things. One of my favorites are these strappy sandals here you see in the nude and the black. Um, kind of a Greece, Grecian goddess look uh, wrapping the ankle. A little more high maintenance, so um, depending on your style, you may or may not like those. But in general, these really thin straps are very much on trend for sandals. Big poofy sleeves are still in style. Great if you don't have uh, bigger or broad shoulders. And our, I call them our grandma scarves. You know, scarves, the Omega scarves and the thicker scarves have really been in style. And actually skinny scarves are back in as well as silky scarves. And if you don't want to tie them around your neck, you could do them in a looser uh, fashion such as this. You can even put them uh, as a belt or um, tied around your handbag, which is kind of a cute look, especially if you're not one to put it on your neck during the summer and you're too warm. The chain links are still really big as well as um, multiple strand necklaces and florals are still big as well as the classics like trench coats and blazers. You'll see everything um, in blazers from a sweater blazer, which I, I have two of them in my catalogs because they're hard to find, but they're very comfortable, especially if you're sitting all day on Zoom or just, you know, working from home. And um, you'll also see some boxier styles. I just caution you, again, those are trendy and they're not the most flattering. Uh, although when you wear a boxy style, that's when you could wear your skinny jeans because you have bigger on the top and smaller on the bottom. That's a good style strategy. Or, you know, your flowy wide leg pants on the top with a more fitted top on the top half. Um, cutouts are really big. I love that if you like a little bit of drama. And so just a couple of things that I think are the most wearable trends and a great way to update your wardrobe. So if you're struggling with how to update your wardrobe right now because you're not sure what's going to be happening, um, you know, if you're going to be working from home or uh, work going back to the office, I'd love to help you. I'm helping a lot of people virtually with that, with this really cool wardrobe app that I have. And I would be happy to help you with that. I have all types of price points depending on what you need. All right. Have a great day. Enjoy.